When Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet back in 2006, it was as if humanity turned its back on it. Once celebrated as the ninth planet, it suddenly became an outcast, a frozen, forgotten relic drifting at the edge of our solar system. But recently, something extraordinary changed that narrative forever. Because new images from the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed something completely unexpected, something that challenges everything we thought we knew about Pluto. For decades, scientists assumed Pluto was just a frozen ball of rock and ice. But James Webb's infrared eyes have seen beneath its surface, and what they found has stunned astronomers. Far from being dead, Pluto appears alive. Beneath the surface lies a mysterious source of heat, melting parts of the inner ice and possibly sustaining a hidden ocean, one that could, against all odds, harbor life. At the center of this mystery lies one of the most famous features in the solar system Pluto's giant, heart-shaped glacier, called Sputnik Planitia. This enormous plane of nitrogen ice is so massive that it literally changes how Pluto spins in space. But scientists now suspect it may also be hiding something astonishing, an ocean beneath its icy shell, warmed not by sunlight, but by Pluto's own radioactive core. That's right, despite being billions of kilometers from the sun, Pluto still holds onto internal warmth. It's as if something deep within refuses to let it freeze completely. Beneath Sputnik Planitia, Heat rises from Pluto's interior, possibly caused by the slow decay of radioactive elements the same process that keeps Earth's core molten. This heat may create a subsurface ocean, sealed under kilometers of ice. Imagine an alien ocean, trapped in eternal darkness, untouched for billions of years, yet alive with motion. And that raises a haunting question, if Pluto has liquid water, could it also have life? Recently, James Webb detected unusual heat patterns and chemical anomalies on Pluto's surface. Certain infrared readings resemble organic reactions, the kind linked to biological activity here on Earth. No one is claiming we found life, not yet. But these strange patterns hint that Pluto might not be just geologically active, it might be chemically alive. Some scientists even speculate that microbial life could exist beneath the ice, surviving on heat and minerals much like the life forms found around volcanic vents in Earth's deepest oceans. Pluto doesn't dance alone. Its largest moon, Charon, shares a strange gravitational bond. The two bodies orbit a common center of mass, locked in a cosmic waltz that shapes their geology and tides. Charon's deep canyons and red polar regions suggest active chemistry and tectonic stress possibly caused by Pluto's shifting mass and its mysterious ocean below. Could the two worlds be sharing energy, or even material, through unseen forces? Pluto's thin atmosphere, mostly nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, gives the planet a faint reddish glow. That glow comes from thalins, complex organic molecules formed when sunlight interacts with methane. These same molecules are believed to be the building blocks of life. If Pluto's ice traps the lens and organic compounds, it could represent one of the earliest chemical laboratories in the solar system a frozen record of life's potential beginnings. Simulations suggest that Pluto's ocean could be 100 to 200 kilometers deep, buried beneath its crust. If it exists, it would have remained liquid for over 4 billion years, older than most life on Earth. Scientists believe this ocean may be rich in ammonia, which lowers the freezing point of water and keeps it fluid despite the cold. This discovery could rewrite our understanding of habitability far beyond the Goldilocks zone. Here's where things get even stranger. Some data hints that Pluto may possess a weak magnetic field, similar in behavior to Earth's but generated differently. If confirmed, this field could protect its hidden ocean from deadly solar radiation creating a safe cradle for any microbial life below. It's a stunning idea, that at a tiny world so far away could build its own shield against the cosmos. Pluto may have been born from a violent collision in the early solar system, heated by impacts and radioactive decay. That early heat might have melted internal ice, creating the first oceans, which later froze on the outside but stayed liquid below. In other words, Pluto is a world of paradoxes, fire within, ice without. Future missions, perhaps powered by next-generation nuclear probes, could drill through Pluto's crust, explore its atmosphere, and sample the gases escaping from its surface. The data could finally reveal what's hiding beneath, whether it's just an ocean of chemistry, or something truly alive. 
Pluto's story teaches us something profound. Even in the coldest, darkest corners of space, life and motion might persist. The universe, it seems, refuses to stay still. So the next time you look at a distant star or the faint glimmer of Pluto in a telescope, remember, it may not be lifeless at all. It may be whispering back to us from the edge of time. The journey to understand Pluto has just begun. And one thing is certain, in this cold, remote corner of space, a new frontier of discovery awaits. Subscribe to Curious Explorers, because the next mystery might just change everything we know about our